esa fe le entregué. Ay, velo con hat. Cabeza fe le entregué. Cabeza fe le entregué. Cabeza fe le entregué. Cube buena. Wow, quién ha ti. Wow, quién ha ti. Cabeza fe le entregué. Cube buena. Cube buena. Wow, quién ha ti. Wow, quién. Glory to God, glory to our master, glory to our Savior. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to our Savior. Amen. Uh, Messiah, greetings to you all, blessed saints. God's greetings to you all, our brothers and sisters in the Lord, men and women of God. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord. Uh, we thank God for this wonderful day that the Lord God Almighty has indeed made for us. Uh, this is the day of the Lord. This is the wonderful day of the Lord. We remain in one continuous day uh, of the Lord. The Lord God Almighty, who is at will, who is at will in our life, whose mercy are new in our everyday life, all glory, all honor belongs to him. We thank the name of the Lord. We bless his holy name in our life. We welcome you all from all corners of the world, whichever part of the continent you are viewing, streaming, watching us from. We bless as we continue to give God all the glory and all the honor indeed. All honor, all glory belongs to him. Uh, we thank God for what he continually do in our life. God is faithful. God is good. Uh, God is love. God remain God. And God continue to showcase himself in our lives. Yes, Isaiah 10, uh, 27. It says, this is the day, the day of the Lord, the day that every yoke of body, and Jesus says, 
as we all know that uh, Isaiah's message is Christ's message, Jesus stood in uh, Matthew eleven twenty eight and declared, say, uh, bring all your yokes, uh, bring all your burdens, bring all your worries, bring all your complaints, and I shall give you rest. The rest that God gives, it does, it, it's not the same as the word give. In this world that we live in, um, rest that comes from this world comes with attachment, comes with condition. That's why Jesus says, I do not give as the world gives. So we give God all the glory for the rest that he has given to us. Imagine being in the rest of God, even when situation, situation says otherwise. Even when situation says otherwise in your life, but you, you are at peace because the peace of the Lord that is upon you, it brings about every meaning. It transcends all understanding, all knowledge. So nothing is hidden from you who are in Christ. Nothing stays hidden from you, from you, you that you are in him. That is why Apostle Paul says, I, I can do all things, all things through Christ Jesus who continually strengthens him. So the strength of God is in him. The strength of the Lord is in him. That's why he's able to move. He's able to do all things. He's able to move. He's able to, he's able to accomplish. He's able to achieve. He's, he's able to even move mountain because the strength was not his. With his strength, he wouldn't be, he wouldn't be able to achieve or to even write many books that he that was written. But he said, I was he was able to do all of those things because of the Christ that is in him. That is why he continually says with boldness, with confidence, that whenever you hear him stand and speak, it is no longer him that is giving the message. It is no longer him who is making the speech, but the Christ in him. That's why Christ in us as believers, as sons of God, Christ in us is and will remain the hope of glory. So uh, when, we, when we are saying this is the day that the Lord God Almighty has made, is the day for you not to, not to even phantom the trouble of the day, because he, you, he, he has he has already overcome that trouble for you. He has overcome it all. There is nothing that we go through in our daily lives that that that, uh, that Jesus Christ, our dearest Master, had not done for us. He has done it all. He has finished the whole thing. He has finished everything that has to do with our trouble, everything that has to do with our challenges, he has finished it all for us. So he wants to see us manifesting his word in our life. His word, his spirit wants to see us manifested. He wants to see himself in us as he has laid down his life for us. So his word that has become the seed of our life, let it, let it, let it, let it be fruitful, let it multiply. His grace is everlasting. His grace never fails. His presence is, is with us. Emmanuel is he with us, God with us. So we welcome you all once again. We greet you all uh, on Facebook. Be greeted with the love of the Father. Uh, our brothers, thank you so much. Thank you so much. As we keep saying that uh, uh, it is not the name of the ministry, uh, but it's the love of God that has banded us together. It's the love of God that has brought us together. And we remain in the love of God as we continue to flourish in the love of God. Uh, we thank the name of the Lord for this wonderful, wonderful time that we are about to be uh, uh, to experience uh, in the fullness of the Father, uh, as our Father, uh, Father, Father Sekodane, uh, always says that uh, uh, being in the presence of the Father and uh, being in the attitude of prayer, it refreshes. Being in the worship with the Father, it refreshes. So it is time for us to get refreshed. It is time for us to get energized. It is time for us to get uh, the fatness of the world, uh, which is the anointing that breaks every yoke, every yoke of limitation, every yoke of stagnation, every yoke of disappointment, every yoke of failures, every yoke of setback. There's a fatness anointing of the Lord that breaks that yoke from your life. Uh, so we continue to give him all the glory. We continue to give him all the honor as he is our Lord. He's the Lord over all things in our life. So we are going to pray right now. And the prayer that we make before the beginning of uh, each service is a prayer of intercession. Uh, we are meant to intercede. We are meant to pray. Uh, we are meant to stand on the gap. Uh, listen, that we are living in this world uh, doesn't mean that uh, we uh, um, that we will not have encounters. That we may not. That we may not uh, see 
um, one of the reasons which I which I believe that is even the reason why we are here is to save this world, continue them from the mission that our, our, our Father Jesus Christ has done for us. Because now, um, if you if you listen to John fourteen verse twelve, Jesus said, uh, "The work that I did, which which was great, which was not even all recorded in the Bible." it will say that uh, if they were to record all the wonderful things that Jesus did in the space of three and a half years, there wouldn't be any space. Meaning, it may, it may not end up becoming a book. If we are, if, if they were to record it, meaning they did not in all record it, the wonderful doings that our master Jesus Christ did. So now, why was it not recorded? Why was those things were not recorded? Because you and I, the remnant of Christ, have to bring the unrecorded event, bringing it for the glory of God, bringing it to the generation that were that did not see nor hear. Now, now we are living in that generation that did not see, that did not hear. But now, because of you, because of I, because of us, because of us, many get to see the wonderful doings of the Father through the words that comes from your mouth. That is why from the heart of abundance, which is in you, your heart, your heart carries the divine abundance. That's why when your mouth speaks, there must be power to equate every word that you speak. You cannot speak and there will be, and, and there is, there is no power. Every speech, Every word, every prayer, every intercession, every standing on the gap must be affected by the power of the word. The word of the Lord, Hebrews 4 says, is alive, is active, and guess what? It is full of power and authority. So that power to do things that are deemed or seen impossible is in you. Is in you. Is in you. The, the Lord God Almighty have said, "Your throne, your throne needs to remain. Your throne remains so. Your throne remains so." So Jesus says in John fourteen verse twelve, "Great work that I did, even greater you will do." And if you fast forward to John seventeen, when when our Master was presenting his disciples, his followers before God, before the Father, he says, "Father." Here they are. Those whom you have entrusted to me, those whom you have given unto my hand, here they are. I do not ask for them to be taken. Yes, listen to that message. I did not ask for them to be taken. I do not ask for them to be taken. No, 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 no. They are to remain. They are to remain because their souls is to win soul. We, can, we cannot win people if our soul have not gone to meet other people. We cannot save this world if yet our souls have not, have not met with the people to be saved. You must have encountered days, challenges that you have done. It is not for you. You know, uh, uh, we keep saying this, that you go through these challenges. It is not for you. It is not for you. It's people out there out there, it can be anywhere. It can be Asia. It can be. It can be Africa. It can be in Europe. It can be uh, uh, in America. It can be in the Oceania. It can be in New Zealand. It can be in Australia. It can be in the Samoa. It can be in the in the Belenese. You know, there are so many places. But the world, the continent, the universe belongs to God, and thank God for the aid of technology. Because technology is given by God, not by men. Not by, not by men. It is given by God. Today, the whole world gets to see each other. People from different uh, uh, from different cultures, from different parts of the world, from different continents, relate, meet, they meet daily. Not physical, they meet daily. By virtual, someone sitting in their offices and communicating to the world, seeing everywhere, seeing everyone, seeing everyone and communicating through the aid of technology. Who is the keeper of all things? God. Isaiah 45. 
God is the giver of all things. God is the creator of all things. So now, what we are saying is this. This is the day that the Lord God Almighty had made. Replay the activities of your day and the, the last two days, the last three days, as we are still in the week ending of November. Replay your activities and count it all joy for however it may, it may happen, however it may be, count it all joy. Because you are receiving something that enables you uh, to still remain with the grace that never fails. Remember, we are operational with the unfailing grace of the Father. It's a grace that never fails. It's a grace that never ends. It's called the unfailing grace of the Father. It's called the unfailing grace of the Father. So we are going to pray right now. We are going to pray right now. And we believe that as we are going to be praying, the, the, the unfailing grace of the Father will locate each and every one, wherever you are, wherever you are, we are going to be praying right now. But before we pray, uh, let us quickly, uh, let's quickly open to the book of, uh, so I love you, Jesus. I love you, Master. Uh, we can open to the book of uh, Ephesians. As I was saying in John 17, when Jesus presented the disciples, Jesus says, Father, here they are. I did not ask for them to be taken out. So we are not, we, uh, Jesus did not uh, uh, lay down his life for us to have the easy way out or for us to be taken out. So, I do not want to carry this body anymore. No, we, we have given him the body. And you know, everything that you're seeing had already been has already been uh, won and defeated for you. Okay. No. Amen. Um, let's start from verse uh, 16. I want just want to read verse 20. Ephesians chapter 3 uh, from verse 16. It says, May he grant you out of the rich treasure of his glory to be strengthened reinforced with mighty power in the inner man by the Holy Spirit. With the mighty power in the inner man by the Holy Spirit. Himself in dwelling, in dwelling your innermost being and personality. In dwelling with your innermost being and personality. In remaining in with the Father, with his character. Remaining in with the Father, with the character of the Father, the fruit of the Holy Spirit. You see, love, perseverance, endurance, long suffering, patience, patience. Simon, Simon, do you love? Simon, do you love? Where is your patience? Where is your endurance? Where is your long suffering? Do you love? Do you love? Feed my people. Feed my people. Lay down your soul for others so that souls will be won into heaven. So that souls will be taken out from the evil doers, from the evil hands, and brought into the kingdom of light. Brought into the what? Into the kingdom of light. Now, the soul. That, that is that is uh, winning the souls it had already carried that life it has carried that life where does that life come from from the world where does the world come from Romans 10 verse 17 Romans 10 verse 17 it says faith comment by hearing and obey so what have you heard father here they are those whom you have given to me they may be strengthened Eh? that they may be glorified as thou glorified me, that they may be reinforced. That great work that I do, even greater than that will they do. So now, where will you do greater work if you are in a hurry to leave this earth? If you're in a hurry, not uh, uh, because I cannot take it anymore, these troubles, this trouble is too much. I, 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 I can't take it anymore. This heat is too much. Where will the glory of the Lord be seen 
if you are in a hurry to run out how many times have you moved from province to province how many times how many times have you moved from country to country how many times have you moved from continent to continent you move to say you are seeking god but god is not far from you it is because you do not hear him you lack the faith you lack the power of faith. You lack the power of believing. So standing on the cap for many to receive Jesus Christ, for many to receive the Savior, the true owner of their soul, as he has done for you and I to receive him, we also have a role to play. So intercession time is not just a time that uh, uh, that is done and is gone. No, it's an everyday time. It's an everyday time because as you are meditating the word, you are also praying for others. As you are meditating the word, you are also interceding for others. Pray for the will of God to happen upon others. Pray for the mercy of the Father to happen for others so that others can also and equally receive the true grace of the Father through your intercession. Now get this, verse 17. We are reading from the book of uh, Ephesians chapter 3, from verse 17. He said, may Christ, through your faith, may Christ, through your faith, actually dwell, settle down, abide. So now, dwell is means living. Dwell, living. Now, we see says, Holy Spirit, move, touch, move, move. But the Holy Spirit hmm, comes into fullness with the power of God. He comes into fullness with the power of God. So how does one attain that power of God? He says, meditations is calling the things of God to reality. So if your heart is in right, in attune with the will of the Father, if your heart, if your heart, your heart, is in attune with the Father. If your heart is in the right place with the Father, hey, guess what's going to happen? Guess what is going to happen to you? Your mouth, your mouth, your mouth shall be filled with the power of the word because every speech and every prayer and every utterance, every utterance shall be filled with the power. That's what Peter was explaining into, to, to the house of Cornelius and the community that came to witness God's power. Peter said in Acts chapter 10 from verse 13, our God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with power, with power. So he witnessed it on earth because the first time when he met with the Lord, he, there was an encounter that happened. He said, hey, you shall be called Peter. Simon, you shall be called Peter. Then the DNA will be revealed. That was the first. That was the first when he made a discovery. But the second was said, "Let's go, let's go." Peter said, "No, I'm a fisherman. I have years of accumulated experiences. Meaning, he has been a fisherman all his life, right from his little age. He has been a fisherman. But listen, if a, a fisherman." Who, who was not fishing for men. He was not fishing the souls of men. Rather, he was fishing fish from the sea. Now, Jesus was bringing the reality that in this sea, there are souls that are, needs to be won. In this sea, there are souls that needs to be won. One for the kingdom of God. Now, I will make you so winners. So we know how to be fishers of men that men will be drawn and be won into the kingdom of God so that ever we rejoice by the work that you are doing through the name of Jesus Christ. You see, at the mention of the name of Jesus Christ, what happened? Every deal shall bow and every tongue shall confess the name that carries of power. So it says now, verse 17 of Ephesians 3, it says, May Christ, may Christ, Christ means the anointed one, the Messiah, the word, the word, the word. See how it, see how it comes together. When you look, when you, when you, when you go back to uh, uh, Genesis chapter 1, uh, in the beginning was the word, the Christ. 
the word, the Messiah, the anointed one. He was there in the beginning. But now the spirit of the Lord hovers around the earth. And the earth was dark. It was without shape, without form. It was void. It was empty. There was nothing on this earth. It was empty. It was void. And the spirit of God hovers around it when it was moving, moving, moving. Where will I land? Where will I dwell? Not in, until where the powers, the power was activated. Let there be light. Let there be light. Let there be light. Let there be light. And what happened when Jesus came in John 1? He says, hey, he was there from in the beginning. Now in him, in him was the light was the light. And the light that was in him now become the life of many, 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 anyone, anyone who hears, anyone who has an ear. Jesus said in John 7, was sitting, do you have an ear? Are you thirsty? Do you have an ear? Are you thirsty? Do you desire? Do you desire? Psalm 37 says, in order for you, in order for you to attain, in order for you you are to, to have the fullness of the heart. You must delight. You must delight the things of the Lord. You must delight in Lord things. You must delight in godly things. You must delight in godly things. So he said, Christ, he said, may Christ through faith, through your faith, through your faith. Now, also working in, in Galatians, how did you receive him? How did you receive him? Was it true your faith or true by tradition? Because we are about to intercede. We are about to pray. Some says, ah, but how come should I be praying and, 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 uh, and, and, and intercede for others? Where are, uh, I'm going through a lot. I'm going through many challenges. I'm going through many uh, difficulties. I'm going through many things in life. How then should I and how then would I uh, intercede uh, for uh, for others? Meaning, you do not believe that when he said it is finished with your trouble, you do not believe that. You do not believe when he said it is finished with your affliction. You do not believe that. Because if you believe that, if you believe it, it must resound in your heart. It must live in your heart. It must be resounding in your heart, meaning living in your heart. It's not something that you've heard and you ignored. Meaning you cannot ignore the things of the Father for your life. Because the more you acknowledge what the Lord God Almighty is doing for you, the more you receive His fullness, the more you are filled and the, in these things. Now, get this. Uh, Ephesians 3 verse 17. It says, May Christ through your faith actually dwell, settle down, abide, make his permanent home. Make his permanent home. So now, who is in your heart? I, I, I mean, who have you entangled with, with your soul? Where is your mind uh, 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 sounding from? Is your mind, is your mind, get this, does your mind, does your mind, okay, is it set on things of God? Colossians 3, he said, set your mind on things of God. Is your heart, is your heart, is your heart acceptable to the things of God? Are you willing? Are you willing to accept everything that the Lord God Almighty has placed before you? Are you willing? Are you willing to say yes and amen to His word and His promises for your life? Because it says, I repeat again, Ephesians 3, verse 17. Say, may Christ, through your faith, through your faith, and we quoted Romans 10, 
from verse 17 again. What is faith? Faith comments. Faith comments. Faith comments. By what? Hearing and obeying. So when Jesus spoke, who is our faith? Who is our faith? He is our spiritual faith. He is our faith. Now, how did he say to us? And what did he say to us? In John chapter 10, verse 10. Now, listen to this. Jesus came and said, I have come. Faith comments by hearing. Now, whoever has an ear, whoever has an ear, let him hear what the Messiah is saying. He says, I have come that they may have life and have it so abundantly. Now listen, I have come. Who have come? Where has it come? He said, I have come that they may have life and have it abundantly so. So the plan of the Father, <laughs> the plan of the Father, Jeremiah 29 verse, verse 11, that I have thought, I have plans for your life, thought of well-being, of good, and not of evil, to prosper you, to prosper you. So Jesus came and said, I have come, that they may have life, and have it abundantly so. So when you have him, you receive the abundance. And from the heart of abundance, where your mind is seated, 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 set to in, your mind has set to in, your mind has set to in, it is well, it is well with my soul, it is well with my life, it is well with my body. It's not just a word, it's a, pro it's a proclamation that you proclaimed, you must proclaim it, you must believe it, you must own it. It is well, it is well. So you have that boldness, you have that confidence to step up and say, the nation receive fear of the Lord. Receive God's uh, God presence. Receive God's favor. You pray for your nations as you are being saved. And God will begin to reveal your faces into nations. God will begin to make known of your face to men. Because you are speaking from the heart of abundance, revealing God's grace. Now, let's quickly finish here. So, we're going to intercede right now. We're going to pray. Verse 17 of Ephesians 3. May Christ, through your faith, actual dwell, settle down, abide, make his permanent home in your hearts. May you be rooted deep in love and founded securely on love. Founded securely on love. That is why we keep saying that uh, to many who, who uh, come across uh, our program, the content, our channel, on, on social media, on Facebook, on YouTube, uh, on other social media platforms. Um, when we say that, um, you see, we are many on a daily basis and increasing daily. And we are not uh, known by uh, name or by uh, the color of our skin. No, the love of Christ is what has brought us together. And His blood is what runs in our DNA. It's the blood that no one no color of skin or languages or cultures or heritage because he is our heritage. Christ is our heritage. So we do not speak the languages of men but the language of Christ. So that's why you see we are founded, rooted, and we are firmly remaining on the foundation of Christ, the love of our life. That's why we, when he has commanded us, go and multiply. So we go into multiplication because when we go to intercede, when we go to pray, we go with, with his grace that has already gone ahead of us. Now, verse 18 says, that you may have the power and be strong to apprehend and grasp with, with all the saints, God's devoted people, the experience of that love, what is the breadth and length and height and depth of it that you may really come to know practically through experience for yourselves the love of Christ, which far surpasses their knowledge without experience that you may be filled through 
all your being that you may be filled with through all your being unto the fullness of God may have the richest measure of the divine presence and become a body wholly filled and flooded with God himself. Listen to that preparation. Jesus presenting, presenting his disciples, presenting them because he has flooded them with light. He is the light. So he has become the light. So he was, it's not saying, Father, allow them to shine in your glory. Just as you have glorified me, just as you have allowed me to shine, Jesus was able to shine mightily because the Father has anointed him. Luke chapter 4, verse 18. The power of the Father has anointed the Son, the Christ, the Messiah, and he has been sent to set the captives free, to deliver the oppressed, to bring the good message, to bring the good message. Where was the message found in the Father? In the Father. That's why you are the hope for the hopeless generation. You are the hope to a hopeless nation. You are the hope to the hopeless family. You are the hope to the hopeless man. You are the hope to a hopeless woman. You are the hope to a hopeless children. Because Christ in you remains the hope of glory. Colossians 1 and the sister service said, Christ in you. Remain the hope of glory. Now verse 20 says this now. Now to him who by in consequence of the action of his power, the power of the word, the power of God in action, the power of God in action in our life, the power of God is action in your intercession. The power of the Lord is in action as you are interceding. The power of the Lord is in action as you are praying. Say, now to him, who by in consequence of the action of his power, that is at work within us, is able to carry out his purpose and do super abundantly far over and above all that we dare or ask or think infinitely beyond our highest prayers, desires, thoughts, hopes, or dreams. So now, to him be the glory in the church. To him be the glory in the church. Now, who is the church? We are the body of Christ. The church, the body of Christ. We are the body of Christ. Now I say, to him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. So be it. So right now, blessed Saint, what you have heard, what you have received this evening, this message that the Spirit of the Lord has opened us to, and this revelation that has come into our heart, now let us now speak from this place, from this heart of abundance. Let our mind be in commune with the Word, the Spirit, the power. Let our mind remain set in the world that it is well with us. So we don't think of ourselves. Let our soul think of others who are in suffering. Many nations that are in at war with each other. Many killings, many sufferings, many, 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 many uh, 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 evil of corruptions. Uh, many who are afflicted with that uh, demon of rape, demon of stealing, killing, destruction. And I wonder why uh, some nations are being marred with demon of rapes. Uh, where uh, no day goes, no day counts, no day finishes without uh, our people, not even a person, without people not being raped, without people not being raped. Get to understand what has that nation sold it uh, itself to. Many nations are married to, to, to a kingdom that is not of God. Many nations have been sold, founded, rooted in the things that does not glorify God. Many nations are giving themselves to things that does not serve God's purpose. That is why the happenings in that nation comes with killing, stealing, destructions, comes with to, to, uh, to, to ruin lives, to, to, uh, to destroy many lives, to afflict many lives, to steal many lives. That's why the remnant of Christ, whom God has presented in, in this world to showcase the grace of God. There is time for 
us to open our mouth. It is time for us to pray. It is time for us to activate the super abundant life that is in us. And many who are living in this generation from all corners of the world, as we know, and the earth belongs to God and the fullness thereof. So everyone that is on this earth, the whole world will be saved as the world is being prayed, being, uh, being uh, interceded with. The whole world will be saved. The whole world shall be blessed. The whole world shall be lifted up, lifted up from trouble, lifted up from every yoke, every yoke of circumstances, every yoke of trouble, every yoke of issues, every yoke of affliction, every yoke of corruption, every yoke of evildoers, every yoke of demonic attack. The whole world will be saved from such hold. Every yoke that has bound it, that has, that has withheld its grips over the life of the people will be broken because you are risen just as we are all risen with you. So right now, Blessed Saint, let us pray. We are praying. Listen to this. The word of the Lord will go where he was sent to. And where was the word sent? To heal, to deliver, to save. To heal, to deliver, to save. Let the word be saved through the utterances of the word that is in your heart. Man. Remember those in hospital. Remember those who are in pain. Remember those who are going through maternity, hard, hard labor. We pray for that difficulty. Remember those who have been afflicted with, with drugs, with alcohol, with sexual morality. We pray for them. We pray for all the nations. Every nation has received the glory of the Father. Many nations are suffering because of love. We pray for the mercy of the Lord over those nations. We pray for all the youths, all the lenders, and we declare God's grace over their life. So join us as we pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, King of glory. Abba, Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We thank you for this wonderful day that you have made for us, for we ought to rejoice and be glad in your holy name, Lord God Almighty. We lift your name right now, Abba, Father. May your word be glorified, Lord God Almighty. May your word reach all corners of the world, Abba, Father. May your faithfulness come upon our nations, O Lord. We present all the nations before you, Lord. We pray for all the leaders, all the leaders. We pray against that political corruption, oh Lord, that political unrest, oh Lord, that seeds of corruption that might be planted in the heart of leaders and the heart of president, oh Lord. We uproot it by the word. Sure, 
sira ele que se cita por hebra ca az zebra debra puxa sira re que se cita por letista zebra duxo sura libra hat esha ta 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 sura esha ta 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 lira esha ta 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 luxo sura libra hat esha zebra puxa sura libra re cuxa zebra disca esha debra duxo zebra hat isha ta ta sura libra ca az e ca luxo sura libra ente e pra ca ta ta suxa sura libra e pra ca ta 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 lixo sura libra ente Isha tibra kuru hebra kat. Those that are under evil tormentation, those that have been oppressed by evil dark side hebra kuru, by evil witchcraft, ah, lista suru hebra, e kakakakusha sire hente. That evil old has been broken over their lives, akalusha sire hente. Isha tibra after. Those that have been tormented in their dreams, e shata, ibra ka. Isha tibra kuru hebra ke hente. The presence of the Lord has come upon them, e shata tibra kusha sire, lifting them out from that trouble, e shata ka, please da ke hente. Breaking them out from every evil tormentation. Eshe tibra kushe kira hanta. Isha tibra kushe sura hembre. E kalakatura lebre kise ke enti. Le debre dushe sura. Le kina kushe sura libre enti. E kakakakakatusha simbra. E kakakakalisha tura hembra ka enti. Eshe tika dushe simbra enti. Isha tata sura. Isha tata lira. Isha tibra dushe sura libra enti. Eshe tata tata lisha kura hembra ka enti. Eshe tata lisha kura hembra ke enti. La kusha sura hembra ka ante. Esha ta lusha sura libra. She debra dusha sura libra ka ante. Leke lista sakura. Leke debra kusha kilira. Eusha parinta. Ika kusha sura libra hente sa kusha. Esha ta 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 sura libra ka ante. Reke lista sura. Le dibra ka ante. We pray for those that are under the evil of addiction. Oh God. Any and any from and every form of addiction that continue to rule lives. Esha tura hembra ante sakira. Every form of addiction that the evil has placed their mind. Esha. Shatura Hebra, we set them free by the word of the Lord. Ekalusha Sura Hebra Kaanta. That evil that has mastered their mind right now, we uproot Akusha Sibra Ente. We break them loose. Shakaanta Sura Hebra. That evil of addition that has mastered their mind, that has mastered their soul, we set them free. He Shakura Hebra Kiseke Ente. E Shatatusha Sura Hebra. No challenges of addition that we seize their soul. Ebra Kusha Sibra Ente. E Shatatata Sura. Ebra Katatatalim. Many souls that have been killed. Oh Lord, souls that have been caged in Shakahanta, souls that have been caged with poverty, souls that have been caged with affliction, souls that have been caged with killing, stealing, destruction. We set them free, oh Shaka. Ibra Kusha Lebre Hente. We set souls free, Halista Sura Hebra Kaanta. Ibra Kusha Sibre Hente. We break them loose from every prison yard, from every prison gate, from every prison circumstances that they've been placed. Eshe Tata Suke Libre Hente. Zebra Deshe Sute Libre Hente. Reke Te Lushta Sura. Reke Lebre Dushta. Dushe sura libra ente, rika ta 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 sushe libra ente, eke lushta, eke jura, ele kise sita kure hembra ka ente. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, King of Glory. Alo da bi, yone. Alo da bi, yone. Alo we bi yone. Alo da bi yo ne Lord of Majesty, divine authority. Alo da bi yo ne. Alo we bi yo ne. Alo da bi yo ne 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 Lord of majesty, divine authority, hallowed I be your name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to our Savior. Glory to our King. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God. Let us appreciate the King.
Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Saint. Thank you so much for praying for us. Thank you for praying with us. Uh, most importantly, uh, thank you for allowing yourself to be a vessel unto honor. As we believe that many nations and many are sundries and many who have been uh, facing every uh, challenges of life has now been set free uh, through uh, your prayer of intercession. Uh, as we have interceded, uh, may may uh, the kingdom of glory continually blesses you all the more. Uh, may your heart be filled with uh, with the unfailing joy from above. Uh, may you be strengthened all the more. Uh, may you remain in the firm foundation of love, and may you continue to have divine encounters from above. Uh, you are blessed. Uh, remain blessed, as we say to God be the glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to uh, our Savior. Glory to our Master. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Uh, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, as we know that we are coming to the end of uh, the month of uh, divine abundance, uh, and we are going to the month, uh, the last, as has been known, this last month of the year. And um, we will be giving an announcement shortly after the service. Uh, but let's quickly go into the message. Uh, let's quickly go to the book of Isaiah. Um, let's go to the book of Isaiah. Um, God is faithful. God is love. God remains God. Um, let's go to Isaiah 55. Isaiah 55. Okay. Um, okay, I will take it from verse 1. Okay. It says here, Wait and listen. Wait and what listen. Wait and listen. Those who wait on the Lord, those who wait on His word, those who abide by His principle. Remember, this uh, 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 psalmist uh, says uh, in First Samuel, in First Kings, also uh, uh, David will ask of the Lord, "O oh Lord, O oh Lord, my God." Should I proceed? Should I proceed? Because there was war that was ongoing. And as the king, who is meant to lead the war with his generous, they will ask. The war, is, the war is ongoing. He could see the war. And he was so eager to join in the action. But now, because he knew that he, he was, he, 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 he's not leading himself, Though he's leading men, but he knew that he was not leading himself. So he would ask, Oh Lord, should I push? And the Lord would say, Hold on, wait until you hear my son. Wait until you hear my son. So David waited. And as soon as the sound, as soon as he listened and, the, and he heard the sound, and the Lord says, go. And as he went, he was able to smite him. He was able to kill all because the world had already gone ahead of him. In our waiting, the word of the Lord goes ahead. In our waiting, the word of God goes ahead. It goes ahead of us. It he always goes ahead of us in our waiting. That's why I say, those who wait, in the same Isaiah, he said, those who wait on the Lord shall be lifted. I on the, I on the mount of Eagles, they will be lifted because they, in their wait, it's not in vain. Now, verse 1 says, Isaiah 55, from verse 1 says, wait and listen, everyone who is thirsty. Now, this is John 7. Come to the waters, and he who has no money, come, buy, and eat. Yes, come, buy priceless spiritual wine and meat without 
money and without price. The salvation of Christ is being bought for us by Jesus, who has laid down his soul, his life, but he submit his spirit to the Lord. He said, Father, unto their hands I give my spirit. But the soul went down. The soul went down to go and draw and win and bring up soul from the place of show. From the word, the place of show. His soul went down to, to throw men. That's why, that's why we keep saying this, that ever rejoices when a soul is one. And how can a soul be one? You have to go through what that person, that individual, what that person is going through. You have to go through that. It's called carrying their pain. That is why never first start getting trouble when anything comes to afflict your body or anything of any news that is not pleasant comes to you, never be, don't be too quick to get carried away. Lest you do not understand the reason why it happened. Lest you do not understand. Get this. Job was a man who was in the right place with the Father. He was in the right standing with God. He was deemed as righteous. And when news came to him, get how, get, get out, just, just picture yourself in the place of Job. The news were, were coming, they were just coming. Some of the news came simultaneously. Some were just coming after the other. Oh, master, your children, your family, where they were dining, fire erupted and all perish in that fire. Your ox, something came like a flood and washes your farms and kill all the ox, all the chicken, all the goats and all the sheep. The winery exploded out of nowhere. Basically, you have nothing left. For your home has been born to ground. Job did not panic. Instead, he threw himself on the ground and said, thank you, Father. Because it is the Lord God Almighty who gives. It is the same Lord God Almighty who, has, who takes. So a believer, when you are in and tune with this knowledge, you understand that, hey, nothing happened to you without God's knowledge. Now, he says, no harm can touch you. No harm can touch you. So if something is happening to you, know that it is not touching you, but it's touching, it's communicating to, to you that someone needs to be saved, that someone needs to be lifted up, that someone needs to be drawn to God. I get this. It says, yes, come, bye. Priceless spiritual wine and milk without money and without price, simply for the self surrender that accepts the blessing. It's a simple word for the self surrender. You see, you know, there's a song that says, I surrender all. When you surrender all, there's no need for you to bumble when trouble comes. When you surrender all, there's no need for you to complain. When trouble comes, when you surrender all, there's no need for you to worry. When things that you do not understand come, there's no need for you to worry because you've already surrendered all. So, in his hand, you give it as you give to his hand. You do not worry yourself. You do not worry yourself because you've given to his hand. Now, listen to this. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread and, and earnest for what does not satisfy? Now, what is it that satisfies? Where does satisfaction come from? Listen to this word. Say, hacking diligently to me. 
Hacking means yeah, yeah. Listen, who is speaking? John 10, verse 10. Jesus came and says, I have come that you may have life and have it so abundantly. So now the life giver. Now, John 1 says something about him. John 1 spoke of him. He says, in him was life. And that light that was in, that light that light that was in him became now the light of men. In him was life, and the light that was in him became now the light of men because he is the light giver. So when he calls us, we are the light. It is for those who have received it, those who hear, those who hear. That's why Revelation two, Revelation three says, "Whoever hears and attains." You hear and you attain, meaning you hear and you believe and you hold on to that. You will receive the word. Now, get this. Get this. Now, now listen to it. Hacking diligently to me and eat what is good. What the Father gives is good. What the Father is doing is good. He said, I have thought, I have plans for your life, not of evil. Not of evil, but of good, of good, of good. Not of evil, but of what? Of good. Now, now listen to this. Let your soul delight itself in fatness, the, prof the profanesses of spiritual joy. Now, the fatness there is anointing. Now, where is this anointing? Where is this anointing? Where is this anointing? Look for verse 18. Jesus Christ stood and says, uh, the spirit of the Father, the spirit of God, the spirit of God, which is the power of God now, has anointed me. He has anointed me with power on I. Now, guess what? He says this now. To set the captive, the captivity free. To deliver the oppressed and the needy and the poor and to bring the good news. Good news. To bring the good news. That's why if you hear that good news came for you and you walk in that good news, your life begins to prosper. So your life does not only get to prosper, but your soul along prospers. So to remain is for you to keep your mind in what has prospered your life. Now get this. Verse 3 says, incline your ear, meaning submit and consent to the divine will. Incline your ear, your attention, your focus, your time. <laughs> Many are falling short in this line of life. Many fall short to see the goodness of the Lord running through and over their lives because they did not give their fullness to God. If you do not give all your time to God, God is jealous of his oneness. He's a jealous father. He's a jealous father. Imagine God gave his son for you to, to lay down his life for you. Yet you, you are unwilling to give your fullness to God because you share your time with other things. And we've said, often said in this house, you become a sharer of evil things when you are mixing yourself with their things. Oh no, I do not, I do not worship uh, ancestral, I do not believe in ancestral, yet you attend their meetings. No, but I have to attend because I have to be there. Okay, now, guess what? Guess what? Listen to this word, message. Jesus was found in the midst of thieves. Jesus was found in the midst of, of those who even plot, those who are perpetual liars. Even in the midst of our lot. But now, who, over, who, who overwhelmed the other? Zacchaeus, who was a taxpayer, when he met with the Lord, who 
Who got transformed? Was it Jesus or was it Zacchaeus? Zacchaeus got transformed. When the prostitute woman met with the Lord, who got transformed? Who got transformed? Now, on the cross of Calvary, when Jesus was placed in, this, in the middle between two hardened criminals, and Jesus was in, 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 at the center. And the one on the left attacked. And the one on the right said, keep short. Keep quiet. You are mine. We are rogues and thieves. Steal joy from people. More than people who refuse to compel to our will. But he, he did no wrong. He's in no position to remain, those to be where he is. It's God, God did all that for us so that today we will not have any excuse of not being saved or not heard the good news. So the good news go to the poor, to the murderer, to the rapist, to the rap to those who commit all kinds of things. The good news, the good news came to them. But did they hear? Did they have a hacking, a hearing spirit? Did they give their attention? Did they give their full time? If you do not give your full time to the things of God, means you do not glorify what God is doing in your life. Meaning you do not accept what God is doing in your life. Meaning you do not uh, believe in what God has done for you. So I love you, Jesus. So I love you, Master. So I love you, Savior. Meaning you do not believe the plan of God for your life. Because you share what is of God with things that does not please God. You are sharing the things that does not please God. It's time that you are meant to give to him. You share, you share it with what? With things that does not please him. Now, verse 3 says, incline your ear, this is Isaiah 55, verse 3, incline your ear Submit and consent to the divine will and come to me. Matthew 11, 28 said, Come to me and I will give you rest. He said, Consent to the divine will. Now, what is the divine will? We've, we've, we've thought of it in this out. We've thought of it in this out. Because God says in Jeremiah 29, I have thought I have plans for your life. He who knew you before you were ever born. He who knew you right from your mother's womb. Now, how, how were you knew? How were you know? He said, I have known you before ever you were ever conceived. Meaning before you were formed, when you were as tiny, as tiny as you were once were. You were once tiny. We were all once tiny in our mother's womb. God knew us. God knew us. He knew everything about us. He knew the number of hair on our head. He knew. He knew that of us. And he has planned. And his plan must be what? Must be fulfilled in our life. And how can we see that plan becoming a fulfillment in our life when we give all our attention to him? When we give all our time to him? When we refuse to allow ourselves to be shared with things that does not glorify him. It says, incline your ear, submit and consent to the divine will, and come to me, yeah, and your year and your soul will revive, and your soul will revive, and I will make an everlasting covenant. Listen, and I will make an everlasting covenant or league with you. Even the show mercy, kindness, goodwill, and compassion and compassion promise to David. Now let's go back now. It says now. Incline your ear, meaning submission and consent, meaning you are aware to the divine will. You are aware to the divine will and come to me. Come to me. Yeah, and your soul will revive. 
Now, and I will make an everlasting covenant or live with you. Even the sure mercy, kindness, goodwill, and compassion promised to David. Now, you begin now to receive what was promised. What, what, what uh, the fulfillment that the, the prophet of old never gets to receive. The fulfillment that prophet of old never get to see. They never get to live it. They never get to experience it. As Hebrews chapter 1 verse 1 says. Hebrews 1 verse 1 says, In the old time, in the old time, in the old time, what happened in the old time? What happened in the old time? What took place in the old time? In the old, in the old times. Now, now let's, just, let's just read it once again. Let's just read it once again. Hebrews, open Hebrews chapter 1, from verse 1. It said, in many separate revelations, each of which set forth a portion, meaning in many separate revelations, meaning it was revealed to, uh, uh, to Abraham, it was revealed to Moses, uh, it was revealed uh, to David, it was revealed to Elijah, uh, it was revealed to Daniel, uh, it was revealed to Joel, uh, it was revealed to Hosea, it was revealed to uh, uh, Malachi, all the prophets of God, in many separate ways, it was revealed to them, but they never get to receive the fulfillment. They never get to receive the fulfillment. Now, it's like, each of which set forth, forth a portion of the truth. And in different ways, in different ways, in different ways, God spoke of old to our forefathers in and by the prophet. But in the last days, he has spoken to us in the person of a son, whom he appointed, hey, and lawful owner of all things, also by and through whom he created the worlds, by, by Christ the Son, God created the worlds. That was why when we said in Genesis 1, in the beginning, the word of the Lord, the Christ, the Messiah, the Son was there. Now listen to this. And the riches of the space, and the ages of time, he made, produced, built, operated, and arranged them in order. Now, he says now, the riches of space and ages of time. We saw that in First Corinthians 11. How Jesus took Apostle Paul. Took Apostle Paul. Jesus Christ took Apostle Paul. To where he had the last supper with his disciples. Apostle Paul was taken right there and he witnessed what transpired. That was how Apostle Paul saw what happened. That was how Apostle Paul saw Judas in person. That was how Apostle Paul saw those who ate with the Lord. He said he was taken like a man. He was taken. He was, it, it was not dreaming. It was not a dream. Why? Because when we are in the Father, we are out of time and out of space. Our walking is not dictated by time because we are not limited to time. We are not limited to space. We are not limited to time. We are above time. Meaning, you can say to time, time be still. And time will listen. Hey, hey. Didn't it happen with Joshua? Didn't it happen with Joshua? Joshua Hackett. Meaning, Joshua diligently listened to the word of the Lord in many different ways. As the word came to Joshua, Joshua believed he obeyed. He believed he obeyed and he was rewarded abundantly so. He was rewarded abundantly so. So we need to remain in the things of the Father. Many, when the time of them to receive the reward as, as is coming forth, that's when many are driven out from the presence of the Father. Many, many, many walk out from the presence of the Father because they lack long sufferings, they lack patience. You don't understand what it what is meant in, in uh, uh, Isaiah 55. 
Okay, let's quickly read the. Let's quickly read. Uh, Sam's. Sam's. Let's open Sam's. Uh, Sam sixteen. Psalm 16, let's start from verse 7. It says, I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. Yes, my heart instructs me in the, in the, in the ninth season. I have set the Lord I have set the Lord continually before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. So I have set the Lord continually before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad and my glory, my inner self rejoices. My body too shall rest and confidently dwell in safety. Confidently dwell in safety. For you will not abandon, for you will not abandon me to shore. Shore means the place of the dead. Neither will you suffer your only one the only one to see corruption. So, First Corinthians chapter ten from verse thirteen, he said, "God is faithful. God will not allow His faithful ones to go through and beyond what that their body cannot bear." So, whenever you are are being afflicted with someone's sorrows, with someone's pain, with someone's pains with someone's experiences, with someone's sicknesses and diseases, uh, when you are going to the God will not allow your soul to be corrupted. Rather, your soul will win them with that long suffering, with that patience, with that endurance. When people come to suck from you, yet you do not cry, you do not murmur. When people come to take from you, you do not wish that they do not come. No, you let them come. Even though you do not have, you let them come. Because the giver, the one who continually gives, the one who continually are poor and over, and, 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 and whose goodness continually runs down, runs down within you, he will not let you suffer. Because he that watches over you will not let your feet dash against his stone. Uh, uh, God loves you. God is with you. Apologies for that. This is it. In Psalm 16, verse 11, it says, You will show me the path of life. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. So now, the, 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 the fullness of joy we receive in the presence of the Father. In his presence. In his presence, we receive the fullness of joy. Now, in his presence, we, he, he says now, uh, at your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. So when when the when the one uh, uh, the criminal on the right hand said to the uh, the one on the left hand, "You be quiet," 
you have no knowledge of what you are saying. How, how do you speak to someone whom you are well aware that he is not a criminal? He never steals, uh, he never robbed, uh, he, he, he has never for once uh, 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 steal from anyone, yet, uh, yet is in this position, is in this position uh, for no reason. Yeah, he was he was simply saying that there was no need uh, for Jesus to be where Jesus was because he did no wrong. He did no wrong. So there was no need for him to be there. He is not supposed to be there because he was not a, 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 a criminal. He's not supposed to be there because he was not a thief. He wasn't supposed to be there because he never wronged anyone. He never sick from anyone. So what was he doing there? So he was challenging his colleague. He was challenging his colleague to say, why do you speak in this manner? Why do you speak ill of someone whom you are well aware that is not a criminal? But Jesus, not that Jesus was defenseless or defenseless or could not speak for himself. Learn what, learn the character of Jesus. When you're being accused, just keep quiet. In your silence, there is something that is happening. When you are called names, just be quiet. In your silence, there's an action that is at work. An action that never fails. The action that can never fail. Always at will. Is at will, meaning it's at work. It can never fail. Because there is no failure to those who are in Christ Jesus. There is no failure. You see, now, therefore, in Romans 8, there is now no condemnation, no adjudge of what? Wrongdoings. No guilt. To who? To those who are in Christ Jesus. So if you are in him, there is no condemnation. If you are in him, you remain in him. No one can condemn you. No one, not even one. Because there is no condemnation in him. So it, it is for you to believe that, that there is no condemnation in him. It is for you to believe that no one can touch you. It's for you to believe that. I love you, Master. I love you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, he says now, you will show me the path of life. Remember, he is the life-giving spirit because the power of the Father is upon him. The power of the Father is upon him. The power of the Father is upon him. So he is the life-giving spirit. He is the life-giving spirit. Now, he came to give us that life that we may carry the power of the Father. That's why we, we, we say that uh, the Father is jealous of his oneness. He, he, he will not, he, his power will not be released if one to his power will not be released to someone's uh, uh, soul, to someone's spirit, if that person has not given his fullness, if that one has not given his fullness to God, we must learn to give it all. When you surrender, you surrender with all the heart. He said, Worship him with all the heart. Psalms, 11, uh, Psalms 100. I says, He says, Worship the Father with all the heart. With all the heart. Worship him with all, everything. Not, not with few measure. No. Not with some. With all. You give yourself all in totality. In totality. That's why uh, uh, the same Psalms, no, but Psalms 37 says now, if you delight in the things of the Father, your joy shall be complete. Your joy shall be made. If you delight in the things of the Father. Amen. So now, um, let's quickly go back to uh, Isaiah 55. Mm. Isaiah 55. Now, verse 4 says, Behold, I have appointed him, him, David, as a representative of the Messiah, or the Messiah himself, to be a witness one 
one shall testify of salvation to the nations, a prince, prince and commander, commander for the peoples. Now behold, you Israel shall call nations that you know not, a nation that do not know, not that do not know you shall run to you because of the Lord your God and of the only one of Israel, for he has glorified you. Father, glorify me as I have glorified you. I do not ask for them to be taken out. The light that is in me that I have given to them, that light must shine. That light must shine. Say, seek, inquire for, and require the Lord. Seek, require for, and inquire for, and require the Lord why he may be found. Claiming him by necessity. Claiming him by necessity. So how did the, the, the thieves on the right hand, how did he claim, how did he claim the, the, uh, 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 the Evelyn place? How did they claim the evidence? Meaning an opportunity was presented. Jesus Christ, the opportunity presenter, the opportunity given. In the midst of two criminals. One hacking, one inclined, one surrender to him. And immediately rose to say, you asking him to, to deliver himself, to save himself. Save himself from what? Deliver himself from what? From the crime which you know that he did not commit, from the from a, a crime which he had no business with, so why should he even save himself from something that he did not do or commit? Now he turned to Jesus and said, "Remember in your kingdom." Now John nine, that is, I have come for those. I have come for those who do not see. I have come to blind those who claim to see. So the one on the left claim to see, he remained blind. The one on the right, who do not see, but yeah, and believe, he got, he got, he got what? He got salvation. He received salvation because Jesus said to him, tonight, tonight, not tomorrow, tonight, you shall eat with me. Meaning I shall dwell in you. Now, we do not now know where that man is now. I mean, the life is living. Just see how grace, see how grace, because the glory of God is the glory that can transform anything and anyone. So you are constantly placed at the place of danger. Not for that danger to hurt you. Not for that danger to harm you. Not for that danger to touch you. But for those in your surrounding, for them to see that truly that God liveth, for them to understand that God never fails, for them to see that God is in you, for them to receive the, 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 the hope that they never believe in. You know, many years of hope, but do they believe in hope? Many years of hope, but do they believe in hope? But Christ in you will remain the hope of glory. So how then can they see the hope of glory if the hope is not activated within you? That hope must be activated within you. That hope must be activated within you. That hope must be seen within you. There must be transformation of that life. There must be transmission transformation of that life. No, 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 no. Let's 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 uh, uh, let's uh, uh, finish this with a. Uh, 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 the book of Third John. Let's go to the book of Third John. The book of Third John says, uh, Third John 2. It's, it's just one book. Third John 1, verse 2. Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in every way and that your body may keep well even as I know your soul keeps well and prosper. That's why when the word, when the word of the Lord comes upon the person, the word, the word, the word, the word of the Lord, Hebrews 4 speaks of this word. He said the word of the Lord is alive, active, full of power and authority. When the word comes upon someone, there must be transformation. 
there must be transformation. Now, the life of the person that received the word is a spirit that comes upon that person. Now, what happened? The, the, the body of that person now be, that yield to that spirit, they receive life. Life, life of God, the fullness of life. Now, what happened with the soul? The soul begin to prosper. Meaning your mind now begin to prosper. Your mind is in right, is in accordance. Is in accordance, is in accordance, is in accordance with the God's will. Your mind is in accordance with God's will. Your mind is in accordance, in with accordance with what? With God's will. He says, now, beloved, I pray that you may prosper in every way and that your body may keep well, even as I know your soul keeps well and prosper. <laughs> in fact, I greatly rejoice when some of the brethren from time to time arrived and spoke so highly of the sincerity and and fidelity of your life as indeed you did you you do live in the truth the old gospel pre, uh, present he said i have no greater joy than this to hear that my spiritual children are living their lives in the truth now now, now go to, let's go to uh, uh, philippians Philippians, Philippians. Now, verse 4, Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always, delight, gladden yourselves in him. Again, I say, rejoice. Let all men know and perceive and recognize your unselfishness, your considerateness, your forbearing spirit. The Lord is near. He is coming soon. Do not fret or have any anxiety about anything. But in every circumstances and in everything by prayer and petition, definite requests with thanksgiving, continue to make your wants known to God. And God's peace shall be yours in tranquil state of soul, assured of his salvation. He said, and God's peace shall be yours when the peace of the Lord has come upon you. When the peace of the Lord has, has sounded upon your life. When your heart is at peace with God's with, 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 with the will of God. Whatever you speak, when 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 the word of the Lord says, from the heart of abundance, the mouth shall speak, your utterance is back with the power of the word. When your utterance is your word, your word, your, your, your prayer, your speech. Your utterances, your communication is packed with power. So, it, so when you speak, when you pray, when you intercede, when you when you uh, when, when you utter the utterances of the word, you see an, an an infinite move of the power of the word that you've spoken. By the by the, uh, by the power of the spoken word, you see you see uh, 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 miracles. You see things happening with your own very eyes. It says verse seven. And God's peace shall be yours, that tranquil state, that tranquil state of soul, assured of his salvation through Christ, and so fearing nothing from God, and being content with his earthly, with his earthly lot of whatever sort that is, that is that peace which transcends all understanding shall garrison and mount guide over your heart. Meaning, it, it, there will be safe keeping. Nothing shall pierce through your heart. Nothing shall bring deception to the heart. It is when one is not in the peace of God. It is when the, one does not have peace of God that evil comes into that heart of that person with deception. When the enemy tries to lure Jesus Christ, our glorious master, to lure him with deception, his heart was at peace with the Father because the power of the Father was upon him. That's why he was able to speak with boldness and confidence to say to, to, to the enemy, do not put the Lord, the, the Lord your God, the Lord your God, meaning the God who created you, who brought you to existence, do not put him to test. And the enemy understand that, hey, this is beyond me. And the enemy had to work, had to run. The enemy had to work, had to run. Now it says, verse 8, for the rest, brethren, Whatever now for the rest, come unto me and I will give you rest. This is what it means. This is what it means. 
Joshua, my servant, do not let this word, this word of mine, to depart from you. This rest that I'm giving to you, do not let it to depart from you. Many, many, the rest of the Father depart from them because they departed from the rest. They departed from this. You find yourself meditating on your trouble more than the word. You find yourself thinking of your trouble, of your circumstances more than the word. You find yourself giving your time to your trouble more than giving your time to the word of God. You find your time giving yourself in fellowshipping with things that does not glorify God rather than fellowshipping in truth and spirit. Meaning your reservation and your will and your will has been empowered by sin. So sin yoke and sin power has influence over your life. It has influence over your soul. It has influence over your heart because your heart was open for such things. But now, when you are in the peace of the Father, it guides on, it guides your heart. Because as you delight in the things of the Lord, you are receiving the fullness of joy. Psalm 37. Now, verse 8, Philippians 4, it says, For the rest, brethren, whatever that is true, whatever that is worthy of reverence and is honorable and seemly, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely and lovable, whatever is kind and winsome and gracious, if there is any virtue and excellency, if there is anything worthy of praise, think on and weigh and take account of these things. Say, fix your mind on them. Fix your thoughts on them. Isaiah 55, that's where we are reading through them. When you get to verse, uh, uh, verse 10 and 11, say, your thoughts are not my thoughts. Your ways are not my ways. So you have to work. realign yourself into the thought of God. For the thought that God has for you is not of evil. Why would you think of evil of others? Evil now lives in your heart. Why would you think of failures for others? Why would you think for others to experience hardship? Why would you think for others to experience, to experience difficulties? So who lives in your heart? Who lives in your heart? Eh? Who is feeding your soul? Because the same manner from the heart of abundance is a man shall speak. If the, if, the, if the heart does not carry the abundance, obviously the heart then carry the, the other side. And the other side, it brings what? Deception. Uh, uh, Jesus, says, Jesus Christ says, the enemy has come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. So you are giving what kills. You are giving what destroys. You are getting what steals. It says now, verse 9. Practice what you have learned. To show my servant, do not let this word of mine to depart from you. Practice it. How? By meditation. Meditating on the word. Meditating on the word. Practice what you've learned and received and heard and seen in me. And model your way of living. Model your way of living. Galatians 5 from verse 7. Who has changed you? What has changed you? What has changed you? You were doing so well before. You were doing so well before. Where is the fruit of the Spirit in you? Simon, do you love me? I love you, Lord. Simon, do you love me? Now, Simon has to receive an offense. He has to give Simon an offense. He has to give Simon an offense. To even, to even test his forbearance. Can you bear this pain that I bear for your sake? Can you bear this body that I have taken from you? Can you bear the pains of others just as I bear your pains? Verse 9, Philippians 4. Practice what you've learned and received. Practice what you've learned and received and see in me and model your way of living on it. And the God of peace Listen to this, the God of peace, of untroubled, undisturbed well-being will be with you. So in that peace of the Father, in chaos, as we have this in, listen, let's let, let anyone, do, I mean, okay, it's, a, it's, a, it's not even a documentation or a history. We lived it. We that are alive today, speaking, we lived it. We saw what happened in 2020. We saw how out of we saw how many lived in fear. How many rushed to be around. What's that thing? Fascination. How many run towards it? How many are living in regrets now? That's white. 
we saw what transpired in the space of three years. We should call it four years now because yeah, six years ended already. In the space of four years, we saw how many live in fear. But those who are of the Lord, those who are of the Lord, we saw how they were at ease with themselves. We saw how, how they were at calm with themselves. We saw how they were not moved on inch. Why? Why were they on inch? Why were they unmoved? Why were they undisturbed? Listen to the reason why. This is the reason. Say, practice what you have learned and received and heard and see in me. Now, model your way of living. Model your way of living on it. He said, let the weak say, I am strong. Listen, weaknesses may come from all corners, but I am strong. Poverty may come from all corners, but I am rich. The, the more you are confessing, the more you are professing, the more you are owning that you are rich, you are rich, you are rich. No, no, no. Someone will say, but where is this richness going to come from? Listen to this. The book of Proverbs says, God will take the wealth of the world and the wealth of the sinner and give to the righteous. Unless if you say that God is a man that lies, that you do not believe on that person. Unless if you if you if you a person that says ah, this is not going to happen because uh, I don't see it happening, you are calling God a man. You make that, and you believe that. Does it say you must not work? No, you must work. Does it say you must not work hard? You must work hard. Does it say you must not put to the effort? You must put to the effort. But you say give your trouble, give your complaint, give. Your worry to him. Meaning, your best will come from him. Not from your hand, but from him. Because in your believing, it's happening. So now, your mind must always envision what he is doing for you. Even though, even though you don't see it, first John says that, uh, first John says that, we do not know how this thing will happen. Question three. We do not know how this will happen. But what we do know is this. When it does happen, we together, we together, we be transformed in that manner. Now, for those who remain on trouble, on inch, they remain like that because of why? Because they wanted their way on the Father. And they've moved their way on him. He says now, verse 10, uh, I was made very happy in the Lord that now you have revived your interest in my welfare. After a long, after so long a time, you were indeed thinking of me, but you had no opportunity to show, to show it. Not that I am implying that I was in any personal one, for I have learned how to be content, satisfied. When you have the word, you have, you have satisfaction. You have contentment. Now you dedicate your life to the satisfaction of the word that you have. Now he says, Now I have learned how to be content, satisfied to the point where I am not disturbed or disquieted in, in whatever state I am. I know how to be abased and live humbly in strengthening circumstances, and I know also how to enjoy plenty and live in abundance. I have learned in any and all circumstances the secret of facing every situation, whether well fed or going hungry, having a sufficiency and enough to spare or going without and being in want. I have strength for all things in Christ who empowers me. I am ready for anything and equal to anything through him who infuses inner strength into me. I am well sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. So I'm declaring tonight that you have the strength for all things in Christ who empowers you, who empowers us, then you'll be ready for anything and equal to anything through him who infuses inner strength. Christ's inner strength be infuses in you. Christ's sufficiency made you. Christ's sufficiency made you. Christ's inner strength is, made, uh, 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 is for you. Uh, you will be able to face all things and you will be able to overcome all things. Because the secret of overcoming all things has been made known to you. You are blessed, precious viewers. You are blessed, precious saints. We thank God for this evening. Let us glorify the
Let us glorify our King. Let us appreciate the Master. Let us appreciate Him all the more. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to the Savior. Glory to our King. Uh, blessed viewers, uh, we thank God for this time we had. Uh, we uh, 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 continue with the administration of the Word tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we'll continue with the administration of the Word. Uh, being Thursday. And um, for those who have not known the Lord and God, and those who have not uh, uh, received Jesus Christ as the rightful owner of their soul, uh, this is an opportunity to do so. It is an opportunity now uh, to give your life to Christ, just as he laid down his life for we all to receive uh, uh, and be revived and to be in right attune with the King of glory, our glorious God. Um, it is it is a, a must that one must be born again in order for one to receive God. Without one not giving his life to Christ, one cannot have access to God. Indeed, God is merciful. Uh, God is gracious. Uh, God is loving. God is kind. God is good. God, God is faithful. In all of this, for you to experience the faithfulness, the kindness, the mercy, the favor of God, you must give your life to the Son. Because through the Son, you came into existence. Through the Son, you live in a world that is existing. Through the Son, all things were made. Nothing was made or nothing were possible without the Son. So all power in heaven and on earth has been given to the Son, who we, who we are meant to give our life to by surrendering ourselves to Him. So you want to surrender your life to Jesus Christ? Uh, he said, it's more than willing. When the layman asked him, when the leprosy asked him, Jesus said, I am more than willing. For he is more than willing. He is right here in our midst, waiting for you to invite him. Your, the invitation is for you to ask him to come into your life, to take over. When he, once he enters, he take over. Evil reign, evil dominion ends in your life. Evil activity ends in your life. Evil activity ends in your life. And what you will be experiencing are the things of God. Are the things of God. Now, some will say, but if evil reigns and evil activity ends, does it mean that the suffering ends? Yes. You do not suffer for your own sake, but you suffer for Christ's sake. Get this. You suffer for Christ's sake. In order for you to enjoy or to share in his glory, you must also be willing to share in Christ's sufferings. What are Christ's sufferings? Laying down your life for others. Laying down your life for others. For others who receive Christ. God loves you. God is with you. So if you want to serve him in truth and spirit, if you want to enter into a covenant of an establishment of life-giving spirit, this is the moment. Comment the hour. Comment the time. Open your mouth and say this prayer after us. Say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I've heard your word. I welcome your word in my life. Your word is spirit, life-giving spirit. Lord Jesus, I invite you into my life. I am a sinner. I humble myself before you. I'm in need of your mercy. I'm in need of your forgiveness. I'm in need of your faithfulness. I'm in need of your goodness. I'm in need of your righteousness. I've sinned against you. Sin is unrighteousness. And it's never pleasant to you. You laid down your life for me on the cross of Calvary. And you rose again on the third day to give me life, the abundant life. Father, wash me with your precious prevailing blood that I may be white as snow. Save my soul today. I believe in my heart. And with my mouth, I confess that Jesus Christ, you are my Lord. You are my savior. You are my redeemer. You are my restorer. I am saved. I am delivered. I am born again. The old is gone and the new has come. I'm living in the new life. Lord Jesus, write down my name in the book of life where there is no condemnation but abundant life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We welcome, we welcome you. Now we call you brothers, now we call you sisters, for we are one in the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. I all welcome. We welcome you all. 
uh, to those who have received him. Get this and know this now. Therefore, there is now no condemnation, no adjudging of guilt to those who are in the Lord. You remain in the Lord. No one can condemn you. No one can adjudge you. Your past remain in the past, but the past is over. Uh, the new has taken over, and uh, you are blessed and you are set. Uh, blessed viewers, from uh, on the first of the month of uh, uh, the new month that we'll be taking up, which is, on, which is starting on Friday, uh, we'll be starting our Thanksgiving uh, end of year fasting and prayer. Uh, it will go all the way to the end of the month of December. Uh, it's going to be uh, an exercise of uh, uh, fasting and prayer. Our kind of uh, Thanksgiving is uh, uh, those with fasting and prayer, giving thanks. And uh, uh, the, 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 the theme uh, this, uh, of this program will be made known uh, on, on the day, uh, that day. Uh, at, uh, tomorrow, we'll be uh, uh, presenting uh, messages and, uh, and guidelines and information. And uh, we are trusting God that uh, uh, the grace that he has uh, been with us thus far and and it's not about finishing the line because it has already been finished, but it's about uh, uh, giving thanks, uh, being thankful to God for what he has shown and for what he is doing. Uh, for his plan will be made known to the whole world and indeed the whole world will be saved. Uh, for the world itself belongs to God and the fullness that is in this world belongs to God. And no one can, uh, uh, no one can challenge what is of God. No one can challenge what is of God. Uh, what is of God remain of God, and God as uh, uh, God is entrusting what is of His to His remnant uh, to uh, to carry out uh, the purpose of God, the plan of God, the fullness of God on the on the earth. So we are therefore saying it is a wonderful time, and it's going to be a wonderful experience uh, that we all are going to be having uh, from first of December, which is on Friday, uh, as we continue to. Uh, uh, observe uh, thanksgiving with prayers and fasting, uh, giving thanks to God for his mercy that are new in our everyday life. His mercy are new in our everyday life. I mean, everyone can attest to that. Uh, the steadfastness of the Lord, it never ceases. It never fails. It never ends. It is new in our every blessed day of life. In every blessed day of our life, it is new. So uh, we are encouraging everyone uh, as we will be going through this exercise, so it's, it's going to be uh, starting from the from the first of Friday. It will go up until I believe it will go up until uh, next year. I will go up until next year. I believe that, uh, and we are looking forward to this uh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time. Uh, as as uh, uh, as we have been led into this moment, into this moment, it's something that uh, that that we are open uh, uh, that we're going to start uh, two three weeks ago. Uh, but uh, you know when 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 God says not your time, you just have to uh, just have to uh, uh, incline and follow. So the time has come, and the and the day the Lord has placed for this exercise to begin is from Friday. Uh, so uh, tomorrow and uh, tomorrow uh, we believe the messages will be placed and uh, information and guidelines will be given through. Uh, it's free of charge. Uh, this is come and buy that one is priceless. Uh, so we will be uh, rededicating uh, the nations and the world into the hands of the Lord and giving him thanks for the utterances that he has given into, in, into our heart and uh, also for, uh, for letting our soul to go to a place to win many souls for the kingdom of God. We give him all the glory, we give him all the honor. We thank the Lord for this wonderful time that we've just had in his presence as we are blessed together. We give him all the glory. I'd like to thank each and every one of you who are streaming and watching. Thank you so much for sharing the content. Thank you so much for being with us here. Uh, we are together in the Lord. I'd like to thank my father, Prophet Zippo Daniel, for continually uh, being a father to we, for each and every one of us all. He's a father that uh, carried the love of God in his life. Uh, so we thank God for this wonderful, wonderful Father from above. So blessed be us. Uh, it is uh, uh, to God be the glory from us here. Uh, however, I would like also to uh, 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 remind everyone, the family, as you know, one of us is celebrating a birthday today. As you know, you've seen online, uh, it's uh, our, uh, our Madame of the House, Kain. Uh, birthday today. Uh, we thank God for a beautiful, 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 beautiful birthday. Happy birthday to you, Kanye. Happy birthday to you. God loves you. Uh, you are highly blessed. Thank you so much for the love of God upon your life. Uh, thank you so much. You know her. She's uh, uh, 
uh, she's the daughter of, uh, of Storm Rider. Uh, she teaches there. Uh, so we thank God for her life. Uh, she, she, she's so blessed from above. Uh, we love you so much. And we continue to say happy, blessed birthday to you. Uh, thank you so much, uh, blessed saint. We meet again tomorrow, God willing, uh, for the administration. And also messages will be displayed uh, regarding uh, the program for the uh, next month as we go with the strength of the Lord. So from us, uh, it is so God be the glory. Remain blessed and stay in the world and keep meditating on the world. Keep meditating of the world and let the world dwell mighty in you. So we love you. Remain blessed.